next time I am stuck in hospital overnight, they might as well put me on a bed of nails to get a better night's sleep. How are you, Lily? Well, we've got a lucky Jean. She got away with a mild case of poisoning, and we got a nice chat with social services. All right, come on, you. Upstairs, go and have a lay down. And have breakfast. Oh, sort her out, Martin. After you've eaten, go and have a rest, all right? Come. He hates me. Mum, he's scared. It's not every day that your little girl might have to have her stomach pumped. She had lithium poisoning, Mum. She could have died. Did you see the doctor whilst you were there? Yeah, they just... they said it's nothing. It's fine. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted me out of the house. Cat's almost said as much. Oh, never mind what Cat says. Hey, you got any eggs? Help him, Mum, we are. It's Martin. He knows you're ill. He gets it. It's all right. You all right? Are you sure it's Lil that needs a doctor? You look terrible. Well, that's what being up all night will do for you. I'm out of practice. How is Lil? Listen, from now on, yeah, we are all in this together. Thanks, Kat. We went through tubes of this stuff when you were little. was falling over in the playground. Jane, there you are. Stace, how'd you get that cut? I thought you'd gone back to work. It is a little secret between you and Jane. I'd have to tell you everything that goes on in my life. Yeah, you do when it comes to her. She's living here, in this house, with my kids. Lily's had a belly full of lithium. That's nice, isn't it? So much for us being in this together. And now you're walking around with a massive gash on your back. I'll just leave it, Kat. It's nothing. Yeah? Well, if it's nothing, then tell me. Do you know what my fear was when you took her out of that unit? Was this? It was an accident. It wasn't even Mum's fault. You'll have to do better than that. <sighs> Kat, please just keep it to yourself. She was so miserable in that mental health unit. I don't want her to go back there. She is coming back to us, Kat. Please just trust me. Look who's awake. Oh, how's your tummy? Fine, yeah. After that rank hospital food, I've got mega cravings for something greasy. The clunkies, yeah? Oh, you all go. I'm, I'm fine here. You come in, Nan. No arguing. You're all right, Lady Jane. It's all right. Go on, I'll meet you in there. Here's... So, how's your mum? Uh, yeah, the whole getting out of the house thing is still a work in progress. Uh, you all right? Yeah, fine. I think I've just pulled something. I did an aerobics class at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just went to get some crisps out of the cupboard to shut the kids up. Yeah, well, you're not looking well. Do you want to sit down? <sighs> no, I'm fine. No, go on. You go and eat your chips and get cold. You want to know what's really going on? I was just me and my mum had a row and she pushed me and cut myself on some glass, that's it. Wait, your mum did this? It was an accident. You don't need to say it like that. Stacey? Stacey! Stacey! 